Hey YouTube, it's Go Teams BSG here. I'm coming to you from the Beartooth Mountain Pass in Wyoming. It's just past the Montana Wyoming state border on the way to Yellowstone from Billings. Um, I've been in Montana all this week for training for work and um, I had some time so I decided based on a co-worker's input to come down here and check things out. It's gorgeous. It is cold also, I should note. Very cold. I'd say it's probably 45 or 50 degrees. Hopefully you're not picking up too much wind or motorcycle traffic. They have a ride-in in Red Lodge, Montana um, that's going to be going on this weekend, so a lot of motorcycles keep going by. I'm going to pause this and flip it around and do a video so you can see where I'm taking this. Hold on. Oh, YouTube, you can see this is the view from where I'm standing. We've got a lake there at the bottom of the hill. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a moment. Oh, there's another tourist. Hello, tourist. You're on YouTube. And back around. I'm going to go ahead and pause again and come back to you. So today is... I believe my week 14 check-in, since I'm traveling this week, I did not do a weekly check-in or weigh-in this morning. Last week I weighed 249.3. The weekend, last weekend I was in Vegas um, with Esty and family and I suspect that I gained this week, though I have been hiking every day after work while here in Montana, taking advantage of the gorgeous weather. I suspect that I'll be up when I finally weigh myself. Man, this is tiring holding this like this. So I'm going to pause it for a second and adjust. I'm back. So today I came up here to take in the breathtaking views, but I also wanted to do some hiking. Um, and that mission to hike has become a metaphor for what I want to talk about in this video. Um, there's a trail that goes from this trailhead down to a lake. It's only a quarter mile. Um, it's not actually all that steep, but it's pretty rocky terrain. And I'm somebody who, I don't feel like I'm very sure-footed, and so I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to fall on a rock and injure myself. And so I decided that the hike was one that I didn't want to do alone, which could be used as a metaphor for my weight loss journey. It's something that I don't want to do alone either, which is part of the reason that I am making these YouTube videos. Um, I've been talking, of course, a lot with my girlfriend, Lindsay, Fly Girl BSG, and I have the support of my family, friends, and most of all, my sweetie pie, Esty. So yeah, like this mountain pass, rocky trail, I'm worried that without somebody to accompany me on the journey, um, I would fall and not be able to get back up. And I, I think that that's a good metaphor for the kinds of support, love, caring um, that, that it takes to, to go through this weight loss journey. Um, certainly, <laughs> when I was in Vegas, I, I, she, I was bad. Esty and I were bad. Esty is trying to lose weight too. He's not a weight loss surgery patient, but he's um, dieting and exercising. He's been fairly successful in the 16 weeks that I've been doing this. He has also been dieting and he's lost 33 pounds. So um, he's doing awesome, but we both cheated. We um, we had we split a slice of apple pie with sugar-free ice cream. We split a giant piece of chocolate cake. Um, I ate at least one and a half pieces of toast, which in my former life, none of that, that would be like a day. Like, you know, no big deal. I wouldn't even think about that. Um, and so we both fell out, fell down on our trip to Vegas. We gave each other permission to fall down. We rolled down the hill happily together. But with his support and the support of friends and family, this week I'm getting back up. And I'm not laying at the bottom of a carb ravine, if you will, um, by myself. And it's terrific. Um, while I've been in Montana, as I said, I've been doing a fair bit of hiking. Um, the weather here has been in the high 80s, low 90s, which is practically glacial compared to Arizona, where it's been consistently 108. So I've been taking advantage of the good weather. Um, the first night 
after training there's an excellent trail system that runs through Lewistown Montana which is where I was uh, rails to trails where they've actually converted old rail ra railroad beds into hiking trails and a coworker and I went and walked for an hour and a half <coughs> excuse me the next night um, we broke at 4.30 and I went back to the hotel. We were all meeting up for dinner at 6 <clears throat> and I walked for an hour before that. I'll post some pictures. There was, um, I walked past or through the cemetery, I should say, there in Lewistown, which is a huge, gorgeous cemetery. Uh, Lewistown's about, I think, 6,000 and the, the cemetery was huge for that particular town. Anyway, I got to see two bucks in velvet and one doe up close and personal. Um, they were probably 50 feet from me. It was kind of weird me out actually. So I'll post that. Anyway, that's all I have. I guess I'll run through the numbers. You've heard, you've heard them before. I started my pre-op diet on April 10th at 290 pounds. Day of surgery, April 24th. I was 280.1, I believe. Um, last week, I weighed in at 249.3 for a total loss of 40.7 pounds. So I was happy with that. I suspect this week I'll be up even though I've um, gotten back on track once back from Vegas. Um, I would love if I'd lose, um, but I don't think that that'll be the case. I'll be happy if I maintain under 250, honestly. Uh, I did weigh myself the night we got back from Vegas and granted I've been eating all day um, or you know just had dinner and I had actually gone up uh, I believe four or five pounds it's amazing how um, quickly it comes back so that's all I have from this beautiful location um, I wish I had something more profound I, I was thinking about that on the drive and um, I thought about talking about our highs I'm about 10,000 feet in elevation here, um, or reaching our goals, our journeys, and um, it didn't really occur to me until I started down that rocky trail alone how much it's a metaphor for the support, the family, friends, the weight loss community, um, how important that is during these journeys. So I wish you luck along your journey. If ever you are in Montana, I suggest coming up to the Beartooth Pass. It is gorgeous as you saw from my video. And until next time, go teams. Have a great one.